Hey everyone, so it's two days until I have to go back to work so I thought there's nothing better to do today than have a full on crafty day. So this morning I'm going to go to my local hobby craft and um, check out what there is there and then this afternoon I'm going to have a full on crafty noon and I thought it'd be really really nice if you came with me. So let's go. <laughs> so i'm back now from my trip to hobbycraft um it was a little short vlog um i didn't vlog so much when i was out and about in boring wood because to be honest there was a lot of children around i'll get in their last minute pencil cases and things so i just didn't want to film things that i couldn't really film so um <clears throat> there wasn't a lot of, of filming of that but there was a nice bit of a bus journey for you so i hope you enjoyed that so would you like to see what I bought? It's not the biggest haul in the world because firstly, I spent enough money recently on other things but and I didn't really need too much but there were a few things that I did want to get hold of. So I'll just share with you. I mean, if you're here for cross stitching, you know, as I've said before about Hobbycraft, um, they are not the greatest for cross stitch supplies. However, saying that, it was really, really well stocked in the cross stitch kits department this time round. I mean, I've managed to sort of make myself not go near things because I know that I've got so many kits in the other room that I don't need any more. So I, I'm quite good now at like stopping myself from go, going too close <laughs> or stepping too close to the sun or something of that um thing so yeah so i haven't got any kits or anything like that today but i did get some nice things so um firstly i got two dylons these were three pound each um i got one in peony pink and one in olive green because i'd like to have a go at dyeing my own fabric i've got an absolute pile of white even weave which is calling to be a little bit more um exciting so i really really want to try out those dylons um and watch some youtube tutorials to figure out how to do it myself um now the, the main reason i went today to hobbycraft was to get some sparkly bits to decorate my canther elephant that i'm working on um however it just wasn't that sparkly. Um, I've got more things probably at home from Emile Hill beads than I had there. So I did manage to get some sequins. So I got some little tiny five millimeter multicolored sequins. So they'll be quite nice to decorate on my um, elephant. And I also got, I wanted some nice coloured bugle beads. I only managed to get a hold of silver today. But that's nice because it's still blingy. Um, but I don't know. I was dreaming of stepping in there and having like red bugle beads and blue bugle beads. Because um, it's a shame actually now. All the bead shops in London 
don't seem to exist anymore. I, don't, I can't think of any that are still there. Um, London Bead Shop's gone. I used to go to... Oh, there was one opposite where the... Do Agatha Christie's Mousetrap, but that's now called Choosing Keeping and it's a very, very expensive um, stationery shop. There used to be one in Neil's Yard. There used to be loads of bead shops, but now, if, if, you, if you know of a bead shop in London, please let me know in the comments below because I do miss just being able to forage around beads and not have to like be really boring and look online for them. So yeah, so that's all I got for my um canther elephant but that's fine like they're enough for now until i start rooting around other places for more things um i also picked up some little um alphabet stamps i've already got three or four different sets of these um I've, i'm annoyed because i've just lost one that i usually use for a lot of my book journaling so i thought well, i'll get this one instead because that's quite a nice um cute one as well um, I bought two plain sketchbooks, two different, an A6 and an A4. Now, anybody that knows me and my sketching and my artwork, I only do small. I can't do big things. I like things small. So these are really nice because these are like really thick paper as well. So it's going to hold my gouache painting. Um, and I've downloaded a course that I'm going to do on gouache painting at some point. So that's perfect for that. I also treated myself to some new paint brushes um, for my painting as well. And these are gold Taclon synthetic. That means nothing to me, but they look like they're quite strong. Sometimes you go to like cheaper shops and all the paint brushes are all like flayed and really like dodgy at the top, but these look like a really nice set. So I'll look forward to playing with those and seeing what I can do with them. I bought three pieces of cream felt why you ask um because what i'm what i do is i chop it up and then i put it within i put sorry not within i put it in between the q-snap and the q-snap holder and it protects my stitching underneath and because it's a just a cream color it means it won't i'm not worried that it'll run on the um, fabric or anything so that's it's a good tip actually and then finally from Hobbycraft I told you it was a quick haul from Hobbycraft I got some um, knitting needles because um, I had another pair of size fours which I picked up from a pound shop and where I've been doing all the knitting around this area um, all the paint had just completely chipped off them so I've got pony ones now so these are a much better um, make so there you go, that was my Hobbycraft haul. Tiny, I know, but it was good. Um, and then, next to Hobbycraft, I didn't spend a great deal of time actually out in Boring Wood this morning, partly because I just wanted to get home and craft anyway, partly because the book took a, the book, the bus took a humongous diversion. Um, and then I had to wait in Starbucks for ages for my breakfast and that took a while as well. So um, by that time I was just like, yeah, do we just go home? I went to B&M Bargains. Now, I'm so happy there's a and m I want to say it's near me. It's really, it's two buses away. That's not near. Um, but it's huge. So it's worth a day out if um, I've got anything else to do on a Sunday. And I treated myself to some new notebooks for school. Um, three mini notebooks for a pound. No, sorry, pound fifty, which is an absolute bag. And they've got really nice designs on actually. I don't know how good the quality of the paper is, but um, they're really cute. So they're fine for school and taking notes and whatnot. Um, I also got well, hey, two packets of Skinny Whips because they're quite nice for school when you're at the end of the day and you just need chocolate. And I got this, <laughs> this is so boring. Um, I got some microfiber cloths um just to because they were pretty to be honest and i like having pretty rags in the kitchen and i also because i'm surprised marley's not come to help me out on this video and um, because he does obviously need a lot of attention he is a cat um i treated marley look to a new bowl because his usual bowl is a bit minging now so 
that's really cute it's got those little kitty cats on it and because i got him that i mean i had to get him a little place mat as well so look at that that's nice lots of kitty cats on there and then of course i had to buy if i got marley a present i had to get luke a present as well so he's been reading all the heart stoppers so i bought him volume four of hearts i've read all four of them i absolutely love them um i need to read her novels now as well um so yeah i bought luke number four um top tip it is only eight pound in the works it should be ten pound 99 go to the works you can get them off at eight pound if you've not read the heartstopper series yeah seriously go out and get volume one it's the most heartwarming thing you'll ever read it oh it's just joyful and then finally i wanted these from hobbycraft but they didn't have them um but I managed to get them from ryman's just some cute little um storage boxes to sort out what i've now called my haberdashery in the back room where i keep all my needles and all my bits and pieces i just want them all stored really really nice so everything is in order because i'm not very good at order so there we go that was my haul um i hope you enjoyed coming with me this morning on my little um stitchy or well, stitchy my little shopping adventure um so this afternoon it's about two o'clock and i'm going to dedicate the rest of my day to some crafting time um, i'm not sure what i'm going to be doing yet I, my head is full of ideas um but i'm gonna do a little mini vlog along the way so if you want to keep on watching stay tuned for that if you just came for the haul then thank you for watching please like and subscribe and um i'll see you shortly with some craft on the go who knows what it will be hello look it's a new camera angle so my first um stitchy project this afternoon or crafty project this afternoon is my knitting um i don't know i just thought you know what let's get some more of this knitting done um if you haven't seen this project so far it's a little scarf that i am gradually growing it's going to take forever i mean i'm using what are they size three needles on this very beautiful yarn but to be honest with you it's gonna be a long haul isn't it i mean so my plan is to try and keep getting 10 done or 10 um, rows done every now and again and then um it'll just keep growing hopefully uh, i mean i did keep saying oh we might do 10 a day but i don't think that's going to happen maybe if i try for five a day like that might be a bit more um, manageable, I suppose. Um, it's a bit weird. I don't normally sit in this chair. This is Luke's side of the settee. But as you can imagine, there's a cat on my side of the settee. So I don't really know what to do with myself. I feel, I don't know if anybody else feels like this. It's like when you go to the gym and you have your locker that you get every single time and then one day you get there and somebody else has took your locker and then it just doesn't feel quite right well this is how it feels for me today i never ever sit on this side of the settee so <laughs> it's a bit weird. it's a bit nicer actually on this side of the settee like luke's lucky he's the one that's got the little table next to him to keep all his drink and his bits whereas i've got to like lean over to the coffee table so yeah, maybe I might just claim this space for myself now. Um, I'm quite liking it here. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to knit for a little while. I've got Grey's Anatomy on the telly. Um, totally got into that when I was um, recovering from the vid. And I'm up to about... What am I up to? Season 5, I think I'm up to now. So, um, yeah, I'm plowing. I know there's about 18 seasons. Um, a lot of people tell me it gets a bit rubbish after about season 8 or season 11. I've heard a few of the spoilers already, but I'm going to put I like it. I do enjoy the characters in this. I do enjoy watching it. So I'm going to carry on watching it. And um, I'm just going to keep knitting for a little while. 
until I decide to do something else. So hopefully, this is the stitch. Hopefully, I might have a little bit of progress on this to show it. It's not going to be a lot of progress, to be fair. I have put a stitch marker in so we can see where I started today, and um, I'll catch up with you in a little while. Bye. Right, so I've finished some knitting. I've done five rows on my scarf, and that's how it's looking now. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to leave it there for today, because um, I do get like a, quite a sore finger after a bit of knitting. So um, I'm just going to leave it there, and I've got a new project now. So a couple of weeks ago, no, a few weeks ago, I started stitching together these um, squares and I'm going to make a really nice table runner with them. So I've done them all in fours and now I've got to start stitching them along um, <clears throat> so they're all sticking together. Um, I've got a picture to reference because I can't remember what order they go in. But I'm going to actually try and finish this now and get all my squares done and then I can um, get hold of some binding and some batting and then turn it into like a little mini quilt that I can um, just use as a table runner. So there we go, that's the next part of my crafting room. Well that's a great place to sit Molly, isn't it? Hello. Marley wants to show you my progress on my um, patchwork. So I've done six strips of it now. And he's very pleased about that, as you can see. Um, so I'm going to put this down for a bit. I've still got four more strips to attach. But I fancy just getting something new out now. So, Marley, say goodbye. Hey, so it's time for a bit of a breather now from um, crafting, I think. Um, so I thought I'd have a look at the new Love Embroidery magazine that I got delivered today. Look at all the autumn on this. The seasons, the changing. It's weird. I kind of think it's still quite sunny out, so it's quite... I don't think I'm ready yet to start getting all the browns and the greens out, but maybe I have to look at... Oh, God, simply Christmas, as if... No sooner are we in autumn, we're in Christmas again. Um, I haven't done any Christmas planning yet. But uh, I love these magazines. But I'll be honest, I've made the um, free kits at this end. But I never ever get round to doing projects. Um, I did kit up a fox once and it's just all sitting there ready to go. But I've just not done it. Um, oh look at that little squirrel, that's nice. So we'll just have a quick look, shall we, and see what's in this. Nice oh, wall hanging. See, they're just so nice. I just need to actually get my act together and just get some stitched. Falling leaves. Oh, look at that. That's pretty. Falling leaves. That hair looks... I don't know what they've used for that hair, but it looks real. Um, they're so good. The instructions are so good in these books as well. Ooh, new people to... Um, look at so on friday i went to the um royal school of needleworks 150th um year an um anniversary exhibition at um the london museum of fashion and textiles with uh, my friend amy who does grace Cool stitcher and we had such a lovely day and oh the embroidery there is just so amazing really like, it's so inspiring. I think I just need to set myself, find myself one project, kit it up and actually start going on something embroidery as well. Like, this is my plan. I mean, if you watched my um, floss tube video the other day, I was saying how I just want to get my um, cross stitch whips down from like 13 because there's just so many other projects like this. I just want to make the space for as well, so... Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. Let's just have a quick flip through together. Quite like. I will read it in more detail afterwards, but I do just like a flip through. Oh, stump work to begin with. See, it's like pumpkins and everything. Oh, look. Little kitty cat. Ah. Oh. 
Oh, that's nice. Cat buns in. I could make that. Oh, that'd be fun. Oh, they're nicely detailed, aren't they? I like those. Pumpkin spice. Oh, that's strange. The last few magazines I've got, the pages have actually been stuck together like that, which really oh, doesn't help in the grand scheme of things. Oh, there's the templates. And, yeah, there's some nice things in there. It's, it's very autumnal, though, isn't it? Which is a little bit annoying, because I might not want to do something autumnal. But the whole magazine is, like, dedicated to that one theme. I love that. I don't know if they're a bit too advanced for me. I do like them, though. The squirrel's really nice, and the toadstool as well. So, I might have flip through there later and see if there's anything that I fancy... Um, kitting up and putting together so there you go that's love embroidery magazine i'm gonna have a proper read watch some flash tube and then decide on my next crafty project of the evening what time is it now it's six o'clock now so um i'm gonna have to put the tea on soon as well and then i don't know what i'll get on with later um i'll let you know though see you in a bit Nice, isn't it? Well, I always thought that lots of pain was brought with the silver spoon was now. Me too. A five foot eight inches and two single ready to mingle. Am I Rico Suave? No. <laughs> Adore. The comfort girls are terrible. I was just trying to show you my Your gun? guns. Yeah, uh, that's that's all I was. No, you're right. I I, I I don't know why I have a wall. I just I don't have one. What do you think it's keeping you from? I mean, I think it's just keeping me from being more consistently happy. Honestly, like. Well, hey everybody, and I hope you have enjoyed watching my little cosy, crafty vlog today. So my final project I've been working on tonight is my little strawberries, which was a free kit from um, Cross Stitch magazine. And there's a lot of blue on there, so I'm just gradually trying to get through all this blue stitching. Uh, I've been sat here just watching Queer Eye. Um, I've had some nice dinner and... I'm just ready to wrap up this vlog now. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed watching. And um, please let me know in the comments below if you would like to see more vlogs like this. And um, I hope you have a really lovely day tomorrow, whatever you're up to. Keep smiling, keep stitching, and I'll see you soon. Bye.